Welcome users. In this content, you are going to learn how to recode the data using WinIDMS application. In the statistical application, the data can be recorded in any of the format. But the package should have the provision. WinIDMS gives a wonderful feature to recode the data for our convenience. Because some data cannot be used to perform the analysis, in that case, they need to be restructured. The recording is nothing but grouping the data. For example, take the age. We have different ages, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Different age groups of data we have in our file. Suppose if I want to group the age, I split the group into two different groups, 20 to 22, one group, 23 to 25, second group. So these age need to be grouped under one and two. This could be easily done with the help of the WinIDMS application. And this feature may be available in another applications too, but I am not aware of it. Suppose if you are familiar in some other application, if they have the future, you can try it. You are watching the screen in ADMS. In the previous content, I have explained how to trace the legal and the illegal codes in the data. The same data set I have used. See, you are watching the data set, which gives all the variables which I have used in the application. Each and every variable need to be carefully defined. It has been explained by me in my previous content. The variable type, length and location, the missing data details need to be carefully entered. Else it will create the problem at the time of running the scripts. The control statement parts need to be carefully handled. <coughs> See the data set is available. You are watching it. This is the control statement part where I am going to define some codes to generate the output. The dictionary and the data set options need to be defined carefully. Even the punctuation errors, spelling mistakes will not help you to generate the output. It will show the error. So you need to practice again and again. As I already said in my previous content. Statistical knowledge is very essential to learn the package functions without having basic skills of statistics and the software. Handling the control statement part in WinIDMS would not be easy. Moreover, this content is not for the beginners. At least you should have a little bit of experience in both areas. See, I am going to generate the class tabulation for age and time spent in the library. The respondents age-wise 
time spent in the library is going to taste now say i have generated the output for age wise time spent in the library you are watching the output the column indicates the time 1 hour 2 hours 3 hours in the row you can find the age of the respondents 20 21 22 23 24 25 it would be nice to add some percentage so as we can get the complete output of the cross tabulation i have included row percent column percent and total percent you are watching the finalized output now i am going to recode the age in the previous table you observed the age is distributed 20 21 to 25 now i am going to club the age under two groups these two groups will be identified by the values 1 and 2. I have divided the groups. So, three age groups 20, 21 and 22 are clubbed under the value 1. From 23 to 25 have been grouped under the value 2. I fix the header group age so as we can differentiate the output i fix the header age versus time spent in the library so the respondents age wise time consumption in the library is going to be traced the previous table also explored the data under the same heading, but the output would be different. Because in the previous table, the age is distributed separately. But in this table, we have grouped the age. So, it will generate only two rows. See? You can find only two rows, the value 1 and value 2. The value 1 includes 3 age groups, value 2 includes 3 age groups. Now I add some percentages, row percent, the column percent and total percent have been included. See the output. Now the complete format is generated. See, running the parametric test in MinIDMS need the recoding. In case, if the data set is available in this format. When we have the data set like this, before running the one-way ANOVA, we need to recode the data. See, the commands need to be carefully entered in the control statement part. Handling the control variable and the dependent variables are very important. If you accidentally change the variables, it will generate the wrong output. You must handle the variables which on act as a dependent variable and which is going to act control variable. You must be sure about it. Say I fix the heading for the one way ANOVA table. See, we are watching the only ANOVA results now. See, all basic details have been generated along with the only ANOVA test results. The structure of the results output is completely different when comparing to another packages, but all outputs have been generated along with the required data. 
The test results can be compared with the spreadsheet. I have used to open up a spreadsheet to generate the output for the same data. See, the ANOVA result is same. Whatever we extracted using WinIDMS application, it, uh, it has generated the same value for the data. So the comparisons is always good because accidentally we may commit some error when you use some package there is a chance to commit the errors so it would be nice to check the data with some other package if the both results are same we can conclude we have generated a right output hope this would be helpful to you don't forget practice makes you the best wish you all the best